Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. The Energy Futures Lab in Alberta tackles the biggest issues of energy transition by bringing very diverse people with diverse interests together to wrestle with the challenges such as getting Alberta to net zero. They do this so effectively that it's the opposite of Merriam-Webster's word of the year, which is polarization. What the world needs now is serious conversations among knowledgeable people instead of screaming matches on Twitter. And the Energy Futures Lab is delivering this in spades. The Energy Futures Lab is a non-profit organization that was formed like we said, 10 years ago, to really look at trying to hold some really difficult questions and to help the de uh, depolarize some of the conversations that we're having around the energy transition. That's Maureen Kola, project lead for Alberta's electricity future at the Energy Futures Lab. And over the last 10 years, we've had about 300 to 400 folks, and these would be leaders within the energy system from oil and gas to electricity to artists uh, to, you know, city municipal folks, folks that are really trying to make impact and change, um, come through the lab, bring forward ideas and really work with difficult conversations uh, to bring solutions forward of how we move forward collectively together really looking at trying to become that radical middle. Participants are called Fellows of the Lab. You see this proudly listed in many LinkedIn profiles. Currently, Fellows are tackling four big areas, including the one Kala looks after, which is Alberta's electricity future. The big question they're addressing, how can we leverage Canada's assets and innovation capacity to accelerate an inclusive and equitable transition to a prosperous net zero future? Some of the ones that come to mind when I think about the work that we've done over the last 10 years would be even the concept of net zero. And so this is something that the Energy Futures Lab has really been looking to advance before it was that trigger word or that, that, that go-to word that we now see. And so we can see that that has been having an impact as we look at like provincial and federal strategies that are now using uh, that concept. Yep, while the deeply polarized debate has raged on in the public sphere, the fellows consisting of representatives of all sides of the debate and society have hammered out a vision for Alberta's electricity future. Like for instance, within Alberta's electricity future, we co-created with about 50 different organizations a vision of what we think Alberta's electricity future can look like that really centers people, businesses, and communities. The report is not a roadmap, but a set of principles and some really good information about Alberta and global trends creating momentum for change, such as the growth of EVs, renewable energy, heat pumps, and much more. You may not see a lot of press on this, but Kala says they're having a real impact on public policies in areas such as net zero, as she mentioned. Another one would be geothermal in Alberta. This was something that has been advanced and worked on within the lab. Uh, and I believe it was just a few years ago that we actually started to see within legislation, um, you know, that the talk about geothermal and a geothermal policy, which was really incredible. And then on the oil and gas side, a concept called bitumen beyond combustion was something that really formed within the lab. The lab has impacted Alberta's net zero vision, geothermal strategy, beyond combustion strategies for bitumen, carbon capture, principles for investment, and it's helping tell Alberta's energy story in fresh new ways. It's a recipe for change. The work led the fellows to taking these thoughtful conversations to Alberta communities through the Energy Futures Roadshow. And all 400 fellows take what they've learned back to their own workplaces and communities. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.